Hotfix. This is our Canadian takeover of the Hotfix. We've had a bunch of Canadian runners showing games. And for our last game of the day, we have Void showcasing DKC2 Unveiled. I'll throw it over to Void. How are you doing, Void? Hey, doing good, doing good. Thanks for having me. So, uh, yeah, happy to be here for uh, the Canadian takeover, also known as the Poutine takeover. Uh, I'm kind of uh, a, a Poutine connoisseur myself. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, this is Unveiled. So what Unveiled is, is a uh, ridiculously difficult uh, DKC2 ROM hack uh, made by MTSYS. Uh, who is a uh, fellow member of the DKC community. And uh, you guys will see a, a lot of really cool stuff uh, about this hack and this run in general, uh, because I'll be doing the 1% or 2% category. I've ran, unveiled uh, the any percent category back in 20... Which year was it? Was it? I think it was 2021, yeah. So 2021, HDQ, uh, I ran unveiled any percent. Um, and uh, today I'm gonna be doing one or two percent. Uh, so the run's gonna be much longer and there will be uh, a lot more stuff to uh, showcase. So I hope you guys uh, will enjoy uh, Strap In because uh, yeah, this, this this run is a doozy. Um, I'm not, I, I haven't really done a run of this in a while, uh, but you know, like I've been de-rusting this category for the last like 12 hours. So it's, it, it's, it's, it's gotta go well, right? Right? Like ain't, ain't, ain't no way any, Meltdown is gonna happen whatsoever, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so in three, two, one, go. So yeah, colors are a little different because, uh, like I said, this is a run hack. Uh, first level, uh, pretty straightforward, honestly. This is like the level that lulls you into the fact that oh, this run hack is not gonna be so bad actually. Like you know, I was I was advertised a very tough game. Um, but, uh, uh, fret not, uh, the, the difficulty ramps up really fast. So here we're gonna do a bounce on this guy and then a team throw up there to get the coin. Then you respawn on this hook, and then you die. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so the goal of 1 or 2% is to acquire uh, all of the DK coins and uh, bonus coins. So uh, each level will have between 1 and 3 bonuses. Uh, I need to remember like uh, where to go now. Um, okay, there's an arrow down there. I should go down there, right? There we go. Alright, cool. We're back on track now. So yeah, I was supposed to get into this bonus. Or rather, I was supposed to grab uh, the, the hook and the hook... Uh, will have dismounted me into that bonus right there. So three types of bonuses in uh, DKC2. You have the uh, kill them all uh, bonus, which is just basically dispatch every single enemy you see in the bonus, which will spawn the coin. Uh, you have just find the coin, which was uh, the theme of the last bonus. And you have uh, collect the stars, which will happen, I'm sure, much later in the run. Much later, uh, as in uh, next stage. Now that I remember it. All right, first level done. First level done, and uh, we're, we already have a death. So uh, yeah, th 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 this is good. this is going good. This is going good. But yeah, uh, so this stage, uh, bountiful traps. Uh, don't grab the blue coins. Uh, most of them uh, will kill you, or rather, like they will be hidden barrels, just like this one uh, that will shoot you into those uh, red bees. Also, uh, some of the stages in this hack uh, force you into the, the level with only one Kong. This uh, stage is uh, one of them. So uh, I finished the last stage with uh, Dixie in front and uh, entering the stage, uh, I am put into it with uh, Solo Diddy. It's the first bonus. And as you can see, like I'm now Dixie because uh, the, the, the stage had to like re-enter me in with Diddy, except that this time I'm Dixie, and now I'm dead. Uh, this roll is actually really tight uh, to go through this uh, Cat of Nine Tails without uh, triggering him. Uh, I'm gonna take another death, actually, to fix my Kong order. Because there's still some stuff left to collect uh, in uh, the second half of this stage, so... A little glide, a little twirly twirl. Hopefully, no. Okay. <laughs> this, 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 this is going good. This is going good. It's okay. Just just, just a little warming up action right now. 
Once again, fixing my call order. There we go. Okay. So now, I can glide over here and under that blue coin and get into this bonus. So this is the Collect the Stars bonus that I uh, mentioned uh, about, like, five deaths ago. Um, so yeah, just Collect the Stars. Uh, sometimes uh, you can have bonuses that will have more stars to collect uh, in them than uh, you need to, to spawn the coin. Um, which will uh, sometimes uh, require uh, routing, I guess. Different routing through the bonus. So yeah, right there, hidden DK coins. So now we're in there for the rest of the stage, or rather, I'm still missing a bonus. But the last bonus is just to the left of this final section. Right there. So I yeah, hope you guys are rolling deep. Hope you guys are doing well tonight uh, on this uh, fine Saturday evening. And now we're done. There you go. So yeah, uh, a lot of the the find a coin uh, bonuses will um, be some kind of platforming, like uh, difficult platforming and such, um, for the most part. This is another level. Um, that you're forced into it with only one Kong. Uh, this one forces you in with solo Diddy. Instead of alternating between D Diddy and Dixie. Okay, we're just gonna be uh, right in those parrots. And then yeet Randy into the pit because heck, Randy. <laughs> Alright, so this chest now, I wanna grab this chest and bring it all across this plank with all the red bees so I can kill this bee, so I can get into on this parrot, and so I can get onto this bonus. And this is gonna be a recurring theme uh, throughout this ROM hack. Um, basically, the way this ROM hack was designed with its bonus areas is if you see something that's like uh, maybe out of place or suspicious in a level, like often enough it serves a dual purpose. So like that chest, for example, I was able to use it to kill a bee to uh, open the path uh, towards the bonus. Okay, all right. <laughs> So this bonus is RNG, actually. Uh, this is one of the bonuses. Uh, I think the only bonus in this game, actually, that is RNG. And it's a throwback to uh, one of the uh, bonuses in DKC2 Vanilla, uh, where the bonus coin can be in any of those four chests. All right, so this stage overall went pretty well. Uh, this, the, the, the redemption arc is uh, is definitely coming up. Definitely on the, on the come up. Uh, this stage right here, one of the uh, many blue stages in uh, this ROM hack because uh, MT, MT Sis, the guy who made the ROM hack, likes the color blue. Uh, if you think I forgot the DK coin uh, from the last stage, by the way, uh, fret not. I did not. But I'm not gonna spoil why I didn't, okay? To say like this DK barrel, I right, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say this DK barrel like also serves a dual purpose. Like I would have used it to kill this uh, puff tuff, which was blocking the way leading to the bonus. But because my jump got eaten and I uh, broke it on the cruncher, uh, I had to take a D boost. Oh, okay. All right, sure. Let's uh, let's try that again. Tur turns out, turns out Dixie is uh, thicker than I anticipated, at least for uh, that bonus. There we go. So that's roughly what was supposed to happen the first time around. You fall into the water and the barrel drops right on top of the fish. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, like, you can just sneak past the hitbox of that guy uh, fairly easily with Diddy. Trigger this one. 
Wait a little and then just go. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, if you, ju you just came in, this is a DKC2 ROM hack. Uh, a really, really hard DKC2 ROM hack at that. Uh, I'm gonna do a little moonwalk to set up this guy. Gonna wait a little. Roll through this guy. And here I'm gonna cheat a little. Uh, there's a secret passage here. So I can clear that final section quicker. All right, so this stage, uh, probably the hardest stage in World 1. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, what we call Team Throw Super Jumps. This is one of them. Climb here, weave those two sections of bees and roll into this bonus. Uh, it's a little faster than the intended way. So this bonus, go here, start killing flitters. There you go. That was actually quite good. Very clean bonus. Alright, so here, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, do another of those uh, team throw super jumps. Do an empty throw right there, and this next D boost will give me a lot of height as a result. Um, Final bonus for this stage. Now here... Okay, I'm not sure if that worked. Like, you're meant to land on the platform. Well, I'll go for it anyways. Okay, yeah. So, you're meant to land on the platform so that Dixie uh, is uh, quote-unquote grounded, uh, which will avoid getting the fanfare right there, because basically the fanfare uh, means that you were still airborne. Uh, if, like, if you were to jump off the hook uh, and uh, do what I did, uh, that means that I'm still airborne. And land into the, uh, right into the barrel, I mean. Alright, uh, so uh, Crow, the boss fight, uh, in vanilla, uh, he can give you fake eggs, uh, which will slow the fight down. Uh, Alright, so if I'm getting good luck... Another real egg, and let's see... Nice, another real egg. So perfect luck on Crow. Except not really, because... Uh, <laughs> MTSYS, when designing the SRAM hack, removed the RNG from the Crow fight. So you're always guaranteed uh, real eggs for phases 3 and 4, so... That's kind of nice. A little bit uh, of, uh... You know, Crow is, Crow is known to uh, kill a lot of uh, DKC2 runs before they even begin, so... Nice to get a little bit of a uh, guaranteed uh, strat in a very difficult uh, game. Yeah, exactly. Alright, speaking of difficult, like this strat... <laughs> This bonus strat right there, uh, it, it, it can be a little scuffed at times, but, you know, like, half of that is because Rambi is kind of a, kind of a jackass. Kind of likes to ruin my day, but, uh, you know, ho hoping for him to be nice this run. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Shot myself a little too early out of that barrel. That shouldn't matter too much for this bonus. So. Uh, I'll just have to, like, take it a little differently than I, uh, than I usually do, because uh, normally I do it with uh, Dixie instead of Diddy, so... There you go. And now we're Renby again. Uh, actually, uh, I only have one Kong, so ideally I don't die to this guy. Okay, I died to this guy. You can make that jump over him, but obviously because I only had one Kong, I died. Like, that's how it works every single time. We're just gonna keep going. I try to keep Dixie for uh, 
the remainder of the section now. Uh, actually, like, being able to keep both of your Kongs in the stage will save you a good chunk of time uh, in the next level, so... That's nice. Yeah, I made the jump this time. Uh, here I'm gonna hold left, which is gonna be a little faster to drop down into this bonus. And so right there, what you saw was uh, uh, a Rambi double jump. So Rambi double jumps are not too difficult to execute, so, but they can still uh, mess you up. So you just wanna uh, re you wanna repress jump and then basically wiggle your D-pad in midair. Uh, and if you do it properly, uh, you'll be able to uh, get an extra jump with Rambi, which is gonna be very useful. Uh, Alright, here I'm going to be uh, visiting Grinkly real quick, because visiting uh, each of the four Kong family members is a requirement for 1 or 2%. It is, it, it is in uh, regular DKC2, and it is the same thing for uh, this game. Here another D-boost. Um, basically, uh, skip uh, this entire uh, first half of the stage, which is very, very convenient, and it also gives you uh, the DK coin. The theme of this level, uh, Mind Over Metal, is basically uh, an escort mission. So you want to escort those uh, cannonballs to either like clear obstacles or uh, bring them to uh, those cannons that are at the end of each section, which you saw like me do for the first half. Yeah, I actually needed to bring a cannonball from like the beginning up to that section. Uh, but because of the shortcut that I took, uh, the game was, uh, oof, that's unfortunate. The game was, uh, generous enough to give me a cannonball, uh, to, uh, you know, congratulate me for cheating, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll have to, uh, re-enter the bonus. So yeah, taking the D-boost there and getting into that bonus is actually faster than just uh, doing the, the whole uh, escort mission thingy for that uh, part of the level. Because as you saw, like I would have had to basically kill the bee that I damage boosted on, and kill the other two bees above the bonus barrel. Alright, just gonna try and... okay. <laughs> really play it safe because I didn't feel like doing this bonus a third time. Alright, so now... Now we're cooking. I'm still not gonna escort mission that cannonball that I've mentioned, though. I'm just gonna team throw into this barrel. This cannonball, though, I'll, uh, I'll keep for a while. up there and then team throw up there and there you go so this final cannon leads you to the last bonus of the stage and then you have you just have to exit the bonus to uh get to the uh final section which uh has the goalpost there's actually no way around uh entering that bonus even in 90 percent so here I'm re-entering the stage because I'm still missing uh, the last bonus, which is going to be right here. Right there I did what uh, we call a 2-1 jump to get extra height, so I can uh, just basically team up into... Uh, oops. Right, I'm just going to wait for this guy to uh, get out of the way. There you go. So yeah, uh, 2-1 jumps give you extra height, uh, which is... Uh, very nice for some stuff like this. So I was able to basically t uh, team up and then uh, do the 2-1 jump, gain uh, extra height and de-boost on that B and get into the bonus. All right, so this stage, you, uh, you're you forced into the stage with Solo Dixie and the stage is really hard. You have all of these narrow corridors to navigate. So. And you also need to not die, obviously. <laughs> Tough section. I'm just gonna take it safe, do a, a, a little uh, longer of a glide than I normally would do in runs, but like I said, I'm terrified of this run. I'm also gonna grab halfway because I'm terrified of dying second half. It, it shouldn't be too bad, like first half, I'm uh, 
I I'm definitely more scared of the first half and runs than the second half, but second half can definitely be trolled, especially for that section. And the whole point of that section is to slow you down so that the lava catches up to you and kills you. But uh, we game in, we game in. Bonus is up there uh, on that ledge where the G is. Uh, real G's grab the G. So this bonus is, uh, you know, maze like bonus. Uh, Except I know the solution, so take notes whenever uh, you guys get around to playing this hack. Because this hack is worth playing, in my opinion. Like, if you uh, if you enjoy DKC2, uh, you will enjoy this hack. It's it, it's uh, it, it's definitely more of a challenge. Like, but there there there's just like this hack was just so well made and so well designed. Like, uh, it, it, basically, it basically took like over four years of development for this hack to uh, come to fruition. I also did not forget the DK coin in that stage. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a death. I actually. Uh, I actually did not do this properly. I did not do the, the, this the way I, uh, I, I I needed it to. But it's all good. Doing that first part though is definitely intended. Using that clobber to uh, dispatch that bee. You're supposed to like use. You would normally be supposed to use that uh, DK barrel to dispatch the other bee, but you can just glide with Dixie. All right. So suspicious crate right there, right? So it turns out that's the way to unlock the. Uh, First bonus. You're gonna throw, then D boost because I wanna be Diddy now. That D boost is not only faster, but also uh, helps fix my Kong order. And there you go, the entrance to that bonus. And just in general, like, a lot of like find like bo the bonuses that you find uh, in this hack uh, are gonna like feel super rewarding to find. Like, they're basically like mini puzzles in a sense. And the bonuses themselves, like, also can be puzzles, uh, because uh, the way MT designed this act um, is uh, you can clear the, the, the hack without any, like, uh, speedrun knowledge or, like, glitches or exploits or anything of the sort. But, like, if you want to do 1 or 2%, then you need to have, like, some sort of knowledge in those things uh, with DKC2. So here, uh, I'll try to go for... Uh, Pretty slick damage boost right here. Okay, I did not get it, which is completely fine. Uh, what was supposed to happen, or what could have happened, was I would have taken damage of that flitter, and then I would have been able to glide right into that bonus barrel that is right here. Uh, uh, instead, now I had to wait for that flitter to uh, come over the, uh, the goal post so I could uh, shoot out of the barrel onto it and it would have bounced me onto the bonus. Alrighty. Now, Animal Ascent. Um, so Antisys loves Rambi, unfortunately. Uh, so he decided to uh, uh, have you transform into Rambi for literally five seconds. So this is another uh, pretty uh, neatly hidden uh, bonus barrel. So like when you're riding quacks, uh, you don't grab those hooks. And that barrel shoots you into the bonus. Right, not bad at all. Kind of a wonky barrel right there. Um, get shot out of, but you can still control uh, your uh, left and right uh, directions. All right, so now we're bringing Ratley to the party. Here I'm gonna do what we call a uh, snake glide, so I can get onto the left side here and get this DK coin. I'm gonna de-boost into this barrel, um, bonus barrel. Once again, it's faster. I went for a 2-1 jump, but I uh, unfortunately did not get it. Which is completely fine. Uh, ooh. Okay. I was actually meaning to uh, land on the bird. You know, it happens. I right, see, 2-1 jump. I, 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 you guys were able to see like uh, the extra height that I got. I was trying to land on the bird properly this time. There we go. Alright, 
So now, uh, come back down with that chest and break it open on this bird coming at you. Alright, so this last climbing section, actually pretty cool. Though. There's a neat uh, little skip uh, coming up with uh, that final uh, squawk section. So you can actually clip those platforms if you mash uh, fast enough. Uh, I uh, specifically changed my uh, my grip so I can clip those platforms. The game would intend you to transform into Rambi to get into that bonus, but uh, you can uh, do that bonus with squawks uh, instead using that exploit. And it's actually quite a bit faster to do that bonus with squawks than Rambi. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, yes, this is a ROM hack. This is a, a very difficult DKC2 ROM hack. Right, so as you can see, like the, the cleaver fight, the arena is like, the, the, the fight is the same, but the arena around uh, cleaver is completely different. And that's where the extra difficulty of that boss fight comes from. You have to dodge those bees and uh, manage these uh, kaboings. on top of uh, really, like, you know, managing Cleaver. So here I'm gonna take a damage boost to get on the right side. Uh, in vanilla, there's a trick uh, called Lava Fly that's akin to this, but you don't have to do the D-boost. And it's a little faster than uh, basically having, having to wait for Cleaver to come out of the lava on the left side and then uh, baiting him over and then uh, having the hooks respawn. All right, pretty solid fight. We take those. Stay hydrated, by the way. That fight did not look easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. I made it look easy. Like a lot of this hack is gonna be like me making stuff look easy, and like you know, I've already taken like a, a bunch of deaths in the first two worlds. So like, yeah, just j j just watch. The difficulty is definitely gonna ramp up. Like actually, it's it, it's it starts ramping up with this world. Uh, so world three, um, very uh, ice steam world. Ooh, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, too sure how to salvage this. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're back with Dixie. Dixie is a lot better uh, to uh, navigate the stage with. Uh, the clappers that you see on uh, the edges of those platforms, they're just obstacles. They, they, uh, they're they basically there to like uh, make your jumps uh, more annoying to execute. So here you saw the number four, you basically have to jump on that clobber four times and it's gonna spawn the DK coin. Uh, not the DK coin, the bonus coin, my bad. So this is just really nice to uh, to use to navigate this stage with. All right, super super tight bonus entry right there. Uh, if you if you don't do this movement uh, well enough, uh, you will end up basically like taking damage twice with both your Kongs and die to that B. So I'm glad it didn't happen. And yeah, another upside of uh, playing the stage with Dixie is here you can listen to the Dixie fanfare. The base, the game forces you to take a fanfare on uh, the goalpost, which uh, is slower with Diddy. So that's another reason why you want to fight uh, all the bosses in this game with uh, Diddy or Dixie instead of Diddy. All right, so this stage, this is a, this is a pretty cool stage. Uh, you basically have this uh, lockjaw chasing you at all times. Yeah, see. Like, this large jaw chases you, uh, on, and if you don't uh, have your invincibility going at any point, you're gonna take damage. So it's basically like, you know, uh, 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 you're racing the invincibility barrel throughout the whole level. 
And like everything in that stage is designed to like slow you down. If you enter those on guard barrels, the transformation is going to be really slow and you can still take damage from the lockjaw even when you're inside that barrel waiting for a transformation. And you saw like those uh, down arrow barrels as well. You're basically racing this blue guy. You cannot kill this blue guy with on guard. You want to raise this blue guy so that uh, you can collect uh, the creme coin uh, before uh, he gets there. And here I'm gonna go for uh, actually a zip. I'm gonna set myself up in that corner and then swap twice and then take damage from that log jaw. And it's gonna zip me uh, up there and it's it's a pretty massive skip in that stage. There's like a whole uh, other section that you have to go through if you want to get that DK coin, but this is uh, this saves a lot of time, which is pretty nice. So as a bonus, making use of On Guard's lunge ability. And we're out. Oh yeah, if you thought that like the levels uh, were, you know, that, that's like t two levels that were blue back to back. Uh, here's a third one. Every single level in this uh, world is blue. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys like the color blue. Like if you, if you play this hack, like you kind of have to like the color blue. So at this stage, uh, a throwback to uh, Crockett Clamor from uh, Vanilla DKC2. Uh, you have these uh, croc heads that you have to navigate. Uh, Death Barrel, by the way. Pixie, once again, uh, very nice uh, to use to navigate through the stage. The stage is supposed to be pretty tough, by the way. Like I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised at how well this is going. Here you can go past the goalposts for the bonus. And here in this bonus, I'm going to do another uh, team throw super jump. This bonus strat is actually super cool. So hopefully I don't mess it up. Bounce on this guy, bounce on this guy, throw. And grab the bonus coin on your way down. That was nicely done, nicely done. Nicely done by your boy. So now we can finish the level. All right, we're out of here. Okay, so this stage, very cool stage right here. You can do the stage of three different ways, uh, Squitter, Squawks, or Rambi. Rambi is the fastest way to get through this stage, but it's also a little tricky. So what I'm gonna try to do is... Mm, I was not super confident with this. I probably should have like gone for it uh, for content, but I don't like really be sure. Okay, I think this is good. So what you want to do is you want to release your charge with the B uh, at a uh, certain spot so that uh, you can basically catch up to it slowly but surely and you catch up to it in such a spot where you can use it to get a bounce and get across that gap. And the Rambi section gives you that DK coin and we're out of here. Except that we still have two bonuses. One of the bonuses is in uh, the uh, Squitter section. It, it's a Squitter exclusive, and uh, uh, one of the other bonuses is a Squawks exclusive. This one, uh, this is the third one that can be done with either. So it's like a really cool, really cool stage, really cool gimmick. You can uh, play through the stage with uh, either Animal Buddy. The strats are going to be different, the movement's going to be different. So. This is fine. You don't want to grab halfway because I have to re-enter the stage with uh, Squitter. And Squitter is at the... Basically, if I had grabbed halfway, I would have had to finish the stage with Squawks. And yeah, that would have been uh, unfortunate.
All right, a little bit of a tight skip right there that I did, but uh, it saves a it, it saves a good amount of uh, of cycle time on that B. All right, so right here, and now I can start select out of the stage at the same time as I grab that coin, which is a little faster. And now I'm back at the start, and now I can grab the squitter barrel and get back in there. So I have to go through this bonus because this bonus leaving this bonus is what brings you into the, the stage which is completely fine, but just goes to show that you can do this bonus with uh, either animal buddy, if you so desire. It is much faster to do it with squawks, so that's why I did it with squawks. Or rather, uh, squeaks. In this game, he's called squeaks. Like you saw, he's, uh, he's red instead of being green. Taking damage there is completely fine. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you can avoid taking damage there, but uh, it, it really isn't a big deal. Bit of platforming with squawks, uh, not squawks, squitter. <laughs> oh, I bumped the corner there. That's completely fine. The game puts you like right back next to the bonus barrel for a fast retry. There's actually a harder strat there that I could go for. That I that I got right there. So like if you can cut that corner well enough, you can avoid having to go to uh, the left to land on that platform. I'm so, I actually went for it, like, because I felt like it after taking that death. I was like, well, might as well, like, try to show it off, and I was able to, so that's pretty nice. Right, so, another, uh, another ice stage. Ice physics, galore. Uh, this stage is actually pretty cool. I'm also gonna make use of the team throw, uh, super jump mechanics right here. And I'm gonna do another one right here to get to this platform where the DK coin is. And now I'm gonna use this cannonball. Very suspicious cannonball, I am. Oh. I meant to jump. Uh, for whatever reason, my jump got eaten there. That's okay. We're just gonna go again. But yeah, uh, suspicious cannonball, uh, you say. So, actually, I'm gonna use that cannonball to uh, get into a. Uh, cannon bonus, but where is the cannon? If you guys can see the cannon, uh, let me know. Where is the cannon? What are those bananas for? Oh, the cannon is down there, wow! But yeah, this is another, uh, you know, puzzle-like bonus to find. Two bananas definitely hinting at something potentially being there. Here I'm gonna grab uh, an invisible uh, invincibility barrel, which is gonna make quick work of that section. That cannonball, normally on a regular playthrough, you would use to dispatch that bee that I uh, killed with the invincibility barrel. So here I'm gonna try to go for a pretty sweet strat. Didn't quite get it, but that's fine. I got the roll through the guy, but I did not get the 2-1 jump into the barrel, which would have been uh, pretty slick and would have saved some time. Still though. Right, so now, uh, this chest, I have to escort back to the start of this bonus. Chest has uh, what I need. Which is that crown coin. And now we can uh, complete the stage. Okay. I'm pretty sure I would have taken damage regardless because I don't think my roll was quite good enough, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. We still made it. Still made it without uh, getting uh, owned too badly. <laughs> Alright, so, this stage, another blue stage, um, and a bramble stage, throwback once again to uh, DKC2, vanilla, where uh, this stage is uh, bramble blast. So, for this bonus, this bonus is actually kind of scuffed, I do not like this bonus, uh, this bonus has uh, been savagely trolling me in the past, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Actually, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take this uh, 
this uh, section safe. Yeah, there you go. There's a much faster strat to get through that bonus, but like I said, it's uh, it's it's a little unreliable. Uh, that's really bad. Okay, I'm gonna take a death. Uh, I essentially want to keep both of my Kongs to go for a, a damage boost. That's gonna be a huge skip. Uh, and also get, uh, gonna allow me to grab the DK coin. Uh, you guys will see in just a bit. But yeah, I was trying to uh, avoid uh, the Klinger by uh, kind of jumping around him. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah, this is the D-boost. I can glide into this barrel. Get the DK and get the uh, the uh, halfway barrel. Here. Throw there. The D boost onto that vine. And now I'm gonna grab uh, squawks uh, or squeaks. Okay. Okay. That's really unfortunate. So sometimes you shoot, but that B is like really good at dodging. <laughs> so. B is like really, really good at dodging. Like so there you go. I'm glad the game is uh, giving me all of those extra life balloons. I might need them later on. Yeah, Canadian takeover. Any uh, any Canadians in the chat room? Uh, all right, so final section of the stage. Actually, pretty cool. Look in. If I can do it properly. Little moonwalk there. Nice, nice. Bounce on this guy. Ah, yeah, that was very, very good, very good. Definitely makes up for uh, being trolled by uh, that bee. <laughs> yeah, that was very, that was very clean. All right, so this guy, uh, Gamer Cudgel. Gamer Cudgel is exactly the same as on Vanilla. But uh, similar to uh, the Cleaver fight earlier, uh, the arena where you fight Cudgel is different. And those planks are actually uh, really tricky. Uh, the hitbox for them is not as it seems. So like for that plank, for example, you want to stand like further left than it might look. That's just an, uh, an unfortunate, uh, let's say, byproduct of uh, the way um, the way like sprites and texture and the rendition is in this game. But yeah, other than that, it's still uh, the same old uh, boring cudgel fight. Where uh, you just uh, dodge his cycles, grab the TNT barrels, throw them at him. <laughs> yeah, I'm French Canadian. Quebecois. As it so happens. Known poutine connoisseur. Alright, there we go. We're done with the we're done with the fight. Stay hydrated, by the way. All right, so actually faster here to take a D boost instead of uh, grabbing that crate. It's actually like a, a, an infinite, uh, infinitely respawning crate, so you can use that to uh, kill both sets of bees. Uh, this is actually a pretty tough stage, so let's see how it goes. Um, so far, so good. So this guy, you want to use this guy to uh, get into that bonus. There's no, there's no cannonball, or rather, like the cannonball that is used to get into that bonus is from that guy. So that's another like clever thing that you have to figure out as you play through uh, 
this stage for the first time. Uh, here I'm gonna have to time this jump properly to not take damage. There you go. That's nicely done. Alright, so here... Here I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a cheese. Uh, the intended strat would be to uh, use a clobber that you find on the very left side of that section. But you can just... Uh, Team throw, or not team throw, but uh, do a D-boost, and it's going to put you uh, right at the bonus. Or you can navigate up to that bonus uh, using iframes. And here, uh, breaking open the uh, chest on that guy is a little faster. You have to break open the chest eight times. All right, so a little bit of an optimization here. I'm going to do a 2-1 jump. Team throw, get past that barrel, kill this guy with the team throw, get on top of the platform, bounce on this guy's shoulder, come back, and then get into that, this uh, barrel, and it's gonna send me right into the last bonus and into the DK coin. So that's an energy thing that you have to figure out. Normally, if you went, if you were to enter that barrel, it would just shoot you into uh, the blue guy, and it would put you into uh, another barrel, like another barrel section uh, at the bottom of the screen that like you can't really see. But uh, it's another like puzzle uh, thing that you have to figure out. So, yeah. A little bit of a dodging, dodge the B section to fin to round this level out, and we're out. All right. This one now, Hitch and Ditch, which is as the name uh, the name implies. You want to ride this minecart, but you can also hop out of it, hop hop out and uh, onto it, depending on the situation. All right, so very suspicious bonus right here. Seems pretty easy, right? Like just collecting bananas. Like, I don't know, just collect the bananas, yeah. E e easy bonus, right? Like, literally the easiest bonus in the game, like... I, I, the, the game finally decides to give you a freebie. For once. Alright. We take those, right? So, well, it turns out that this bonus is connected to the other bonus. In this stage. And you'll see what I mean. Definitely, definitely a tricky section to navigate with Dixie. You really don't want to take damage because of that glide that I did. Alright, so the buzzing that you hear right now is from invisible bees, which are located where those banana bunches were. So I hope you guys uh, memorized where all of the banana bunches were, especially at the end right here. Like, there's one, there, there are basically like two that you have to weave yourself into. Two invisible bees that you have to weave yourself into right there at the end. So it's pretty tedious, pretty obnoxious, pretty tricky. So I'm glad I was able to actually get that first try. You guys will just have to take my word for it that there were uh, invisible bees right there. Uh, yes, this is a uh, hard DKC2 ROM hack. Here is a throwback to uh, a strat in DKC2 that we call the Swag Balloon. Um, you have to grab uh, the Swag Coin, as it turns out. Okay, so this stage... This stage is kind of uh, this ROM hack's uh, magnum opus, in my opinion. So, uh, Bramble Antics... So has a section for uh, each of the four um, main animal buddies. I, 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 at least like the animal buddies that you can transform into that are uh, also like uh, animal buddies that you can uh, use on land. 
And the goal of the stage is you basically have to clear uh, all four animal buddy sections in one trip. And it's by design. Reason being is you get put here. Oh. Okay, well, Dixie sucks. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> didn't think. I honestly didn't think that uh, I would take damage from the bee. I could just like run into the bee holding the TNT barrel, and I would not take damage. So that that really sucks, actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, so you basically want to use those TNT barrels given to you by uh, the animal buddies to uh, clear four bees, and that's the only way to get through that stage. And if you die, you uh, basically have to. Uh, Redo each of the animal buddy section because the uh, TNT, the, not the TNT barrels, but the uh, the bees are gonna respawn. Uh, Alright, right, Dixie sucks. Dixie sucks. Dixie sucks. There we go. And uh, if you, like, do a miss throw, or, like, if the barrel breaks, like, the TNT barrel breaks before you can clash it onto a B, you're, you're screwed. <laughs> like, like for, forget about your attempt at uh, clearing the stage that it's, like, you, you have to redo it. And we're gonna do squawks. Oh, crap. Okay, this is, this is pretty scary, actually. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go around here. Grab this invisible uh, invincibility barrel to uh, help me out. I would normally uh, normally not need it because I would have both Kongs, but you know, like I've already I've already taken a pretty uh, pretty big death here. I uh, I'm I'm good with not dying again, <laughs> ideally. We have one Kong. Took a, take a small detour. This DK barrel uh, respawns indefinitely, which is you know it helps with the gimmick of this stage. Now we have uh, Rambi and Squawks done. On to Squitter. Squitter is the uh, animal buddy section that uh, actually uh, terrifies me the most. It's pretty tricky. Alright. I got fairly lucky uh, once or twice, right there. Alright, cool. I was able to keep uh, both my cons through it. Very nice. Then I can just hop in. It's gonna put me through here. Like, basically, this is like your... Um, how can I say it? Like, your... Uh, I guess your checkpoint, in a sense. You need to have both cons. But like, if you make it through a section and you only have one Kong, you can like take a small detour and grab uh, the uh, infinitely respawning DK barrel to get an extra Kong, so you can uh, get through and uh, get the, T the TNT barrel for your animal buddy. Right. Ratley, best boy. Oh my gosh! As I say that, I take damage. All right, so. Uh, I'm scared to die. You've got this. Okay, I do got this. So there's a backup DK barrel there. So now I feel a lot better about uh, being able to uh, get through this stage. There we go. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Thank you, Church, for not jinxing uh, my attempt at this <laughs> stage. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Alright, so this bonus, actually, another cool skip about this bonus. So this bonus is like a, a little, like, you know, little throwback at uh, what you just did. You have to, like, uh, use all four animal buddies, except that you can skip, ideally, this Rambi barrel. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Once again, clearing uh, the bonus with uh, Squawks. Normally, the game would have you do uh, this section with uh, Squitter. But doing it with Squitter is uh, much slower. All right, so I'm gonna visit Cr uh, Funky right now uh, because I uh, felt like traveling back to World Three. 
Uh, now that I've traveled back to world 3, I'm gonna go back to world 4. There's a reason to this madness. Uh, I'll explain it later on. You'll see, you'll see. Alright, so this stage now... This is... Basically a 20 second break. So, uh, how you guys doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. But yeah, uh, so this is kind of like a, a, a bonus room as a level. Uh, it's like a survival um, bonus room kind of thing. You have to wait until the timer expires and still be alive to be put uh, at the end of the stage. Except that there's a cheese here. Uh, you can kill uh, the, the invisible crook uh, that's uh, off screen to the left and it makes the stage basically free. Okay, that is really unfortunate. <laughs> So, the, the DK coin is right under King Zing that you see right there at the end. Uh, I was not meant to land on the target, so I'll have to do it again. But yeah, so, yeah, what I want to do here, and then roll, and you see me kill the guy that's off screen. So that's the cheese. It's a very nice cheese, very, very fun, very convenient. Just uh, another, uh, more opportunities to stay hydrated. Uh, this is on Super Nintendo. This is a uh, Super Nintendo run hack. Uh, so hopefully I... There we go. I got the DK coin, but since I beat the stage, I can now start select out of it, which is going to be used for this bonus. Oh! Turns out the bonus is right there. You just have to hold left. If you hold left uh, while holding, uh, hugging that wall, then you get into the bonus. Also, this uh, stage I did not mention, but this stage puts you into it with uh, Solo Dixie. There we go. Very nice. So here, visiting Cranky. Because like I said earlier, uh, you want to visit each Kong uh, of the fam... Like each Kong family member uh, at least once this run. So I, I visited uh, so far uh, Wrinkly, uh, Funky, and Cranky. So I'm missing Swanky. And Swanky I'll be visiting in uh, World 6. Okay, so this stage... Like, you see all those cannons, right? So, pretty cool, right? Uh, well, this stage is an escort mission. Another uh, escort mission uh, of sorts uh, with this cannonball. Uh, you want to keep onto this cannonball until the end of the stage. And those cannons are basically obstacles. Like you have to uh, obviously enter them uh, at least once. Like the first, the, the one in the first half, and the one in the second half uh, for uh, the the cram coins. Okay, so here uh, I really, 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 really hope the game does not crash on me. It can. I really hope it doesn't, though. All right, cool. <laughs> That's actually the intended way of uh, of getting that bonus coin. Uh, you want to basically break open the, DK, the, the chest onto that B uh, a lot of times. Here you crouch, and that extends your hitbox so that you can uh, get the uh, DK coin, which is nice. And now more escorting. Also worth noting, uh, you had to get the, uh, like, you basically have to get, oh, oh, okay, well, thankfully, yeah, that's what I thought, that, like, there was DK Barrel, like, that it just passed, um, okay, uh, I lost my train of thought, yeah, so, you have to, in the stage, enter, uh, the bonus in the second half, uh, to have access to the halfway point, which is kind of, kind of a, a jerk move, but at the same time, uh, pretty clever. It's like, hey, uh, like the, you're conditioned into not getting into the bonuses for first half, but like, hey, uh, if you just stick onto not getting the bonuses throughout the, the entire stage, then you're not gonna get the halfway point, and you have to basically try to beat the stage uh, from start to finish. So yeah, right there at the end, like you saw those three Bs. You only have to kill one if you do the speedrun strats, but casually, yeah, like you kind of want to 
kill all of them, and that's uh, what leads you to uh, the end of the stage. So that's a bonus right there. Most people wouldn't think that that's a bonus, but that is a bonus. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, do the casual. Yeah, we'll do okay, that sucks. We'll have to redo it. I ran out of time right there. That's all good though. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so this stage is called Team Up Trouble. This, 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 this stage is uh, really going to make use of uh, a lot of uh, hidden mechanics and stuff uh, using the Team Up mechanic. And also, you basically need to have both of your Kongs for like 90% of it. If you only have one Kong, then you're pretty screwed. So I killed this guy, so as you saw, like, this Dixie Barrel, and now a Diddy Barrel. So, like, if you don't have both your Kongs there, then you're kind of screwed. See, I took damage, I have to start select out of the stage and uh, try again. Uh, thankfully, you can, like, you know, it's, it's a nice uh, QOL thing uh, that uh, the dev of this game put into uh, this hack, so that uh, you can start select out of the stage uh, if you don't have both of your Kongs. Takes a while to load, uh, long, uh, a, a, little, a little longer than uh, all of the other stages in this game, but uh, you know, it's, 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 it's nice to have that option, instead of always like death warping if you take uh, damage, for example. Okay, I'm uh, kind of butchering this right now. Hold up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Invisible barrel right there to erase that gate. Here your team, team throw down there and get the DK coin. Yeah, I can actually debuts because there's a DK barrel right here and also fixes my cone order for uh, the rest of the stage. Team up there. Yeah, you guys can see, like, at, at, at any point, if I were to not have uh, both my Kongs, I would be screwed. Suspicious Beetle, eh? Kind of out of place for uh, a stage that uh, is focused on team throwing, right? Well, turns out Beetles can open up bonuses. So, here we go. So here I'm gonna use two one jumps to get through that bonus. This bonus actually requires a speedrun tech, like the team, throw, uh, the team throw super jump that I've been talking about. Uh, for uh, a good portion of this run, or as I've mentioned a couple times uh, throughout this run, uh, it's normally used in that bonus, but uh, it's faster to do a... Uh... Oh, what? That's really unlucky. Also, I don't even know how that happened. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've... That, that might have never happened before. <laughs> But yeah, normally you can just roll under that B and you don't take damage, except I took damage this time because, you know. Hotfix luck, I guess. <laughs> As opposed to marathon luck. And that's unfortunate because that was like the last really challenging obstacle before halfway. Uh, that's okay. You guys will be able to see me do a... Uh, the stage in its entirety without dying. First try, by the way. Get up there. There we go. See? Now you kill this guy and halfway is there. Okie doke. So, second half, uh, same gimmick as first half, you, want, you really want to keep both of your Kongs. Here, a uh, cool strat here where you can just uh, roll and then team up and it just skips everything. Take this guy. Jump over him, and then here I can do a D-boost. 
and finish the stage. So yeah, I, I told you guys, first try. Alrighty. Yeah, this is a rum hack. This is a DKC2 rum hack. Okay, so once again, uh, boss fights, uh, the pattern and the fight itself are exactly the same, but the arena uh, where you have to fight King Zing is completely different. And also, like, yeah, this is this, this is as 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 t as hard uh, and tricky as it looks. To have to fight uh, him in the this uh, you know thorn infested hell. Yeah, I kind of bungled up this uh, last uh, phase, unfortunately. Surprised that this uh, connected actually. All right, cool. So here I'm gonna hopefully yeah okay grab this. Uh, Invincibility Barrel, and completely uh, ruin everything, okay. Somehow salvaged it, as long as I don't die here. There we go, nice. Woo. <laughs> Calculated. Alright, and now we're on to World 5. If you thought this game was hard enough already, oh baby, oh baby, you guys are in for, you guys are in for a treat. This this game only gets harder as you go along with it. Okay, so this stage actually pretty cool stage. Also, I forgot to go for the first bonus. That's okay. I'll have to re-enter it. Uh, but yeah, this stage is pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, I messed that up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so this stage, Warp Woods, the gimmick of this stage is you see those signposts and they're going to warp you uh, to a different uh, point of the stage as soon as you get past them. I was like so busy trying to explain like the, 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 the gimmick of the stage that like I, uh, I kind of messed up my... Uh, my movement. There we go. That's where the first bonus is. This is not intended whatsoever uh, to get under those gates, uh, but it is a uh, very nice uh, skip. Or uh, I guess speedrun cheese, I should say. Um, you're more meant to like literally throw Dixie onto those gates to open them. And then get uh, hidden uh, barrels. Uh, so now we can actually go because uh, the next bonus uh, of this stage is uh, much later in it. There you go. And you want to roll, and then you, and also like when you uh, you cross those signposts, you preserve whatever like momentum that you had uh, getting into them. So like that's why for uh, that signpost you wanted to be rolling, and I was not doing that the first time around. Suspicious crate right here, don't you guys think? That's how we're gonna be opening uh, the second bonus. Like normally you would use that crate on a first playthrough to kill the Cruncher, but you actually want to preserve it. Uh, here you can throw this beetle, and I actually bungled that up. <laughs> Thankfully. If you open the bonus once properly, uh, you get uh, you can you can reopen it as many times as you want. So kind of a, an olive branch right here. There you go. Yeah, you throw the beetle onto the wall, and then you start facing left, and the beetle is actually gonna bounce you uh, onto the ledge, and that's how you get there and get the DK coin, the bonus coin rather. All right. So final section, little crouch right here. And you can pretty much do this whole thing uh, pretty quickly and pretty safely. All right. Great job. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Hornet Hall. Um, See the number four right here. Uh, so it's in a, in a similar fashion uh, to the uh, earlier, the bonus earlier in this hack, uh, where I had to bounce on the clobber uh, four times. Uh, this one you have to uh, dispatch four sprites. Uh, the crook, uh, the crook throws the hook 
and the hook does count as an extra sprite. So you basically have to shoot uh, the hook that he throws uh, three times, and then you have to shoot him on the fourth time. Like that. Unfortunately, it wasn't first try, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll make it up. We'll make it up. Yeah, this level is basically uh, a whole bunch of uh, really narrow corridors that you have to uh, navigate with squawks, ideally without taking damage, which is unfortunately what I did right here. But uh, shouldn't matter too much, as long as I... Yeah, okay. That beast sometimes will get you. You only have one Kong, but thankfully it did not this time around. Okay, so... This is a fun one. So... You hit that barrel to open the gate. But the gate is raised now and in the way. You have to find this little secret passage to actually despawn the gates and respawn it to its original location. So yeah, another like puzzle E bonus. Alright, so D boost right here. We'll see if uh my hubris costs me. Leave yourself into both those bees for the DK coin. And ah, it did cost me. I bonked, I bonked the corner just a little bit, oh. and I was not able to make the cycle. Unfortunate, but that's okay because I have halfway. I have halfway, and I have a DK barrel, so we're back. We're so back, gamers. Wait for that B to get out of the way. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, that's also something I haven't seen ever, I don't think. Shooting the B instead of shooting the crook. I didn't even think that the B could interfere with its hitbox against you killing the crook. That sucks. It's okay though, third tries the charm. Never mind, fourth try is the charm. <laughs> Alright. I'm doing the debut strat. Like at this point, like my ego is too bruised, so I have to like do this properly. There we go. And there you go. Okay. We're out. Except that we're only out of uh two-thirds of the stage. There's still a section right here. This section is uh, akin to ceaseless chase, uh the level uh as on guard earlier, on guard and the, the, the silver logjaw that you see following me around. And then Bodish right here again. Uh, once again, you have to like, like, you basically have to, um, okay, there we go. You have to forcefully take one of the barrels that would slow you down normally, but that's the one that unlocks the path to the bonus, so yeah. And this session is actually pretty cool to optimize. Kind of interesting to like, you know, in in interesting and challenging to be able to like dodge those barrels and like really like um, dodge the corners, cut the corners properly with uh, squawks while also being underwater for some reason, because I guess squawks breathes underwater. All right. 
This stage. Uh, so uh, the way MTSYS designed this level is uh, around... He designed it around the uh, the wind cycle that is in Gusty Glade. Oh, nice, dude. Uh, in Gusty Glade in uh, DKC2 Vanilla, um, the wind cycle is exactly the same as the wind cycle in this stage. So that's that was untouched. Everything else, obviously, is completely different. Uh, so yeah, right there at the start, I'm using a dev barrel. It's a little faster. Here, Moonwalk to manipulate the position of those bees. And here, same gimmick as the um, DK coin in Cannon Clash. Uh, you want to crouch to uh, extend your hitbox. How oh, awesome, my jump got eaten there. You want to crouch to extend your hitbox so that you can get into this bonus barrel. There we go, nice. So if you do this properly, you can uh, basically go under uh, those uh, obnoxious birds. Here I'm gonna grab halfway because uh, I've died enough this run. So I go from squawks to quawks. Here the scanning, you wanna have this guy shoot, and then backtrack here, and then just chill. Yo, what's up, gamer Ren? Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome, everyone, uh, to uh, me playing a really, really difficult DKC2 run hack, by the way. Uh, if you guys enjoy this content, and if you guys just enjoy me uh, rambling about uh, how this game is really tough and how uh, what I'm doing is uh, really tough, uh, you know, uh, give me a follow on Twitch. Pop that follow button. And then here, unfortunately, Ratley is the best animal buddy, but you have to yeet him into the pit to finish the stage. All right. This is my favorite stage in the entire hack. Um, Decaying Depths is very akin to uh, Toxic Tower in vanilla DKC2. Um, in that you have this, it's basically a giant uh, vertical stage where you have to use uh, Ratley's jumping prowess, and Ratley has some uh, very cool uh, jumping exploits about him that uh, I'm really uh, making full use of throughout the stage. Is there every single time that you see uh, Ratley like wobble in midair, that's because. Uh, I'm doing uh, one of the one of the glitchy jumps that you can do. That's was an, that's, that was one of them. Uh, there we go. Okay, took me a while to get that one. I wanted I want I want to face left to uh, manipulate the the position of those uh, kaboings that I ended up jumping on. Just took me a little uh, a little longer than I would have liked to. Uh, be able to uh, pull that off, but I did anyways. All right, so ooh, okay. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna take that safe uh, since I took damage. There we go. And here you get uh, you get transformed back into your Kongs, but the gimmick of the stage is you have to backtrack the whole thing. Oh, okay. You have to backtrack the whole thing. Uh, for the bonuses. The bonuses and DK coin. Okay, there we go. Uh, now... Okay. That's good. Okay. Phew. That was shaky, but uh, we did it. You gotta do that glitchy jump that I mentioned to be able to gain enough height so you can dismount Rattly and... Now we're back at the start! And now we can get this uh, this bonus, we can get into this bonus. Turns out Rattly does not have hands and therefore cannot uh, pick up a cannonball and put it into a cannon.
All right. Now we're out of here. Uh, thankfully, this cannon bonus puts you back at uh, the very end of the stage so you can uh, finish, finish it. All right, so Freezing Frenzy. This is another uh, stage with ice physics. Uh, those uh, blue and purple enemies that you'll see throughout the stage, uh, you cannot kill them. Uh, in fact, if you try to kill them, you will uh, take damage. Do not, you do not want to touch, you do, want to, do not want to roll through them, don't want to bounce on them, don't want to have anything to do with them. Those guys are fine, those guys are just vanilla, but uh, yeah. Walk here to uh, fix the position of that guy so I could uh, roll under it. And now we're kind of through the, the hard part of the stage. Now all I have to do is bounce that clubber, team throw into that bonus, and that's the first bonus. The second bonus, once again, another uh, puzzler involving that clubber. Stun him and then pick him up. Use that flitter, get back there. And that really sucks. Um, I think I have to try this again now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That search was going too well, you know, like something bad had to happen in it. It's all good though. But yeah, so like the idea, the idea really is um, to use that clobber and to open up the bonus with it. So what I was not, so what I did not do right the first time around was, so after bouncing on that, oh my goodness, <laughs> that stupid clobber, all right, well, we're starting the stage from the beginning, I hope you guys like this stage. I'm shocked I did not grab the rope there. That's fine. Okay. Sometimes, like, clipping the ropes can happen. It's really obnoxious when it does. Has to do with uh, you having uh, too much rolling speed. Okay, I think we're back on track now. I think we're back on track. And hopefully the clubber is not a jackass again. Hopefully. Is 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I was going to be able to pick him up there. But yeah, there's a hidden barrel that can shoot you forward, which gives you enough speed so that you can see the clubber actually opening up the bonus. Which is not, which is something that I actually uh, was not able to get. Oh, I'm missing one star. Uh, alright. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is, this is something right now. This is something. I, I'm getting bullied. I'm getting bullied by this run hack. We'll get there, though. Eventually, I'll get that bonus, and then we'll be able to get out of here. Ideally, this attempt, because, like, I feel like you guys are ready to, uh, to see another stage at this point. No, I guess not. I guess not. I guess for whatever reason, I got a roll oh. instead of a jump. Okay. Let's go again, then. <laughs> How are you guys doing, by the way? How are you guys doing on this uh, fine uh, Canadian thing? Uh, not Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanks Canadian Thanksgiving was actually <laughs> last month. Uh, take over. Also, I got another roll clip there. Awesome, awesome. Is this the best hack of DKC2? Uh, in my opinion, it is, yeah. Uh, this hack is uh, very, very well made. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard, uh, but it's very well made. And definitely worth playing if you're a fan of the series. Uh, okay, I jumped into the barrel. See that invisible barrel? I didn't mean to jump into it this time, and I did. Not cooperating when I wanted to. Okay. Alright, this is it! This is it! Right here! Chorus right here. Never mind. <laughs> All right. First try. <laughs> First try every time. First try every time. Oh wait, Void, you, you forgot you forgot the DK coin. No, I did not. I did not forget the DK coin. You guys will see once again later. Oh, okay. I went for a I went for a, a quick strat there, and obviously I uh, I messed it up again. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Nice. But at the stage, you know, like, once again, boss fights. Like same same gimmicks, same mechanics, but a uh, different arena. All right, not bad at all. That was first try, right? So. Yep. First try every time. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now uh, on to World 6. Uh, so this is another ice stage because, you know, like, I, I, we haven't played enough ice stages uh, so far this hack. Okay, uh, that was actual 
nonsense that just happened. I should have had enough invincibility to dispatch this guy, but yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to try again. Okay, as long as I have Dixie, because uh, you need you need Dixie to uh, get into the first bonus. So ideally, uh, this uh, this will work out. How old is this mod again? I think the first uh, official release of this mod was in 2019. And obviously those arrow barrels, like you see, I, I just wanted to enter this arrow barrel to uh, show that it actually does in fact kill you. <laughs> uh, the next time you uh, you get back to the world map, do you want to take a quick break? Uh, do I have to? Um, we're, we're running a little long, yeah, just to make sure that no ads play over and everything and everybody can get up and get uh, some water and stuff. Okay. I'll finish this level real quick then. Or try to finish this level real quick. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, where was I going with this? Yeah, so... You don't want to touch the water. The water is, uh, cold. Very cold. Cold to the, the point where it's gonna kill you. Also, I didn't mean to enter this barrel. Uh, but... The bonus is actually hidden, uh, right under this ice block. Right there. Like, you see this big arrow? This arrow actually indicates, uh, the bonus. And uh, this cat on nine tails is supposed to be uh, the uh, the method for you to uh, get through that bonus, but there's actually uh, a cheese. Turns out if you just uh, ho hold onto walls, uh, you can get past those uh, narrow sections with bees. Uh, ideally, like, I don't really know why that's not working right now. Um, I think I'm taking a little too long, because like it also has to do with the fact that the bees hitbox is oscillating. There we go. And then do it one last time. All right, first try. Now we can finally progress. Uh, both bonuses are acquired at this point, though. Uh, both? Yeah, both. I was wondering if like the stage had uh, more than uh, more than uh, one bonus, but yes, it does. Here I did uh, a little bit of a, a tech, uh, call it the crouch tech, so like you can just slide off of a platform and still hold crouch, and as long as you're basically not considered uh, as swimming, uh, your Kong will not like be in like you, you, you won't think that you're in the water. And therefore, uh, you won't uh, take damage. Alright, so for this bonus, I have to take a little bit of a detour uh, for this bonus because you want to have both Kongs so you can team up and grab those uh, stars that are like the top row of stars. If you don't have both Kongs, you won't be able to collect. The stage, uh, kind of a barrel ascent. Uh, this cl cloak, uh, again, once again, like pretty clever. Uh, this cloak, you only have like, you have to basically get the ready uh, for uh, getting into that bonus. So this chest, you wanna break open on this uh, little guy several times so you can get both the uh, cram coin and the DK coin. Here, death barrel. It's gonna be faster. Oh, those bees that you see. Um, yeah, yeah. So this is the first appearance of the the bright mares. So uh, yeah, those bees that you see. 
it, it looks like there are four bees on screen, but it's actually only one bee, like one really, like really, 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 really fast bee. But they act as four, like uh, hitbox wise as well. Also, I'm really not used to doing the section with Diddy, uh, so I'm like really trying to uh, finesse right now. Okay, so far so good. Yup, yup. All right, we should be good. Can just jump. Uh, by this point, I'm used to uh, this section with Diddy because you want to take a damage boost through this level. All right, uh, so break time. Yep, we can take that break now. Uh, nice, so sweet. during these longer longer runs, we like to take breaks so everybody can get up, stretch, get some water. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll see you in a few minutes for the rest of the run. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Fix. This is our Canadian takeover. Uh, we are in the middle of a DKC2 unveiled run. I'll hand it right back over whenever you're ready if you just want to give a quick 3, 2, 1. Alright, cool. Uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Damn, even including the overworld movement. I could have cheated. <laughs> Big cheats on this speedrun. Yup. <laughs> Okay, so this stage is called Castlephobia. It's, in my opinion, like one of the coolest designs in this entire run. Uh, so, you know, combining of uh, two words, castle and claustrophobia, you have to navigate all of these narrow uh, corridors, narrow sections. And it's a very challenging stage. A lot of the stages at this point in the run are gonna, are gonna be pretty challenging, so yeah. Oh, I got a dead roll there. Okay, unfortunate. There's a cool piece of tech there, though. Uh, so that clobber right there, uh, the way that, like, the movement that I'm doing to grab the DK barrel is actually uh, so that, like, I, I'm actually, like, trying to manipulate him to go to the right after uh, he spots me. And it actually saves time. Good amount of time. All right, there we go. Roll. First bonus is right here. So this bonus actually <clears throat> uh, makes use of uh, a mechanic that not a lot of people uh, know in DKC2, so if you have an Invincibility Barrel and you throw your uh, partner Kong, uh, the Invincibility Barrel is gonna carry over to uh, their headbox as well. So you can use that to uh, kill the rat that's coming up and spawn the coin that way. Uh, it's otherwise, like the timer otherwise is too tight for you to be, to be able to uh, kill the rat and then come back in time. Since that whole bonus is basically designed to uh, make you lose time. Uh, so, okay, for the second half of this stage, it's actually super important uh, for me to keep both my Kongs. Keeping both my Kongs is gonna save, like, basically two years. And I'm not even kidding. Like, having both Kongs for the second half, like, saves a tremendous amount of time. Because you can, like, really, uh... Sequence break, uh, a lot of things. Second bonus, right here. This bonus, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna go. Left side, baby. Alright. So this is where, uh, having both Kongs is, uh... This is where the, it, you save time, so you can use the, your both your both your Kongs to uh, dispatch this Cruncher uh, and dispatch this Clobber. All right, so hopefully I don't screw this up. I would be really sad if I screwed this up. Nice. So, <laughs> if you're familiar with DKC2 Vanilla, there is a DK coin in Webwoods that you have to get in the same fashion as the DK coin that I just got right there. 
So if I had messed that up, I would have had to restart the stage from the beginning. So I'm actually really glad that um, that I got it. I don't want to say that's the first thing that like goes my way this run, but it's one of the few things that has gone my way this run. Oh, I actually forgot to uh, do a strat there. I'm going to see more of this stage. This stage is uh, super cool, super technical, uh, and also uh, in, an or in order to like, really make sure that uh, th this stage would do uh, its intended thing. Uh, MTSYS had it uh, programmed in this level, on only in only this level, that... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, he had it programmed in this level and only this level where uh, your uh, A button is actually disabled. So you cannot uh, team up and team throw your Kongs, which would actually uh, kind of break this level when you think about it. Since this is a uh, vertical uh, level and it has a, a lot of really cool platforming in it. So this bonus sucks. Uh, this bonus is... Uh, th there's definitely some RNG about this bonus, but for the most part, like this bonus just sucks. Uh, you have to uh, really like make it so that these uh, Cat on Nine Tails throw you up, but you don't want them to uh, throw you like into or too close to the next Cat on Nine Tails. Otherwise, you're gonna take damage. But that's completely random how they uh, they uh, throw you. I've also been doing some uh, damage boosts uh, in this level. That was one of them. I did another one uh, prior to this one. There does damage boost save a good chunk of time. Uh, yeah, there's a bonus that I need to get into. Yeah, there you go. Crow's Nest, right here. <clears throat> and speaking of tight platforming, this is tight platforming of the bonus. And not only is the platforming tight, but the timer is also really tight. And this is, uh, as you can see, uh, a bonus uh, that you're intended to do as Dixie, and only Dixie. Also nice. Oh, something I didn't not mention earlier about the uh, the bright mares. Uh, the bright mares uh, show up again in this stage. Uh, how many you see on stream depends on uh, actually the frame rate. So if you stream at 60 FPS, you're gonna see four. But if you stream at 30 FPS, uh, you, you you're only gonna see two. Or if streamer, I'd say streams at uh, 30 FPS, you're only gonna see two. Okay, I did not mean to roll into that one. I meant to jump. But that's okay. More content. You boost again. Oh, actually that's too low. Okay, so you guys will see the kind of section that you skip with that D-boost. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's try again. It's a really slow section with the crunches where you have to bounce on them and avoid them in order to gain height. There you go. Yeah, very, very obnoxious section. Section that I actually haven't seen in uh, quite some time. <laughs> okay. I thought for sure I was uh, gonna take damage there. Movement seemed like a little too slow, but thankfully it wasn't. In reality, it wasn't. So yeah, uh, that's that's suspicious beetle. Uh, you guys saw me uh, use it to uh, kill that uh, that cruncher at the top, so I could uh, get uh, into that barrel and get the DK coin, which is something that I completely overlooked because I was talking about something else. There's just so much to talk about. Uh, when you play this game and like especially considering uh, I'm doing the one or two percent category. There's just like a lot more uh, content but This stage is actually super tough and super tricky uh, Those red clingers uh, are invincible you don't want to mess with them same as the uh, the, the, the blue and the purple uh, crocs that were in uh, freezing frenzy 
Here, I'm gonna do a 2-1 jump to skip having to deal with that uh, clinger on the chain. Oh, bad bonk, but that shouldn't matter too much. Should be able to uh, finesse with Dixie from now on. There you go. Get Diddy back. Take damage again, but doesn't matter again. Or shouldn't matter again. As long as I don't... Oh, they're synced. That's... A problem. Okay. Okay, turns out it didn't matter. <laughs> I have never seen that. Like, uh, uh, right there, I'm supposed to, like, do a really fast climbing strat with Diddy. And, and uh, I just wasn't really uh, used to uh, having to deal with them being synced. So, like, I really... Ch I tried. I tried to make it work, but unfortunately, it was it was too much. It was too much for your, even uh, your boy to, uh, to handle. Yeah, so that right, that right there, a uh, little secret that leads to uh, the DK coin. Right, if, you can, if, if you can keep uh, Diddy through this section, like you'll see, like uh, some of the strats are really, really spicy. Like this roll, for example. You saw how I weaved in between those two red bees. And now I have Diddy for this climb. Okay, I was supposed to like go right, uh, right there for uh, that last jump, but it's all good because halfway is right here. So now we're doing better. Little moonwalk there to fix those three uh, red guys. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do a two-one jump to skip the puzzle for uh, this bonus. Puzzle with this bonus is actually another like really clever uh, puzzle. It basically combines two things that uh, you saw in a uh, in two different stages uh, earlier this hack. Very cool uh, climbing and just general movement right here. Little hooking action. Nice climbing. Take a D-boost right here. And the last bonus is hidden through this hallway. Alright. And that's it. Now I'm gonna visit Swanky. Swanky is the only one that uh, I hadn't visited yet. So now I've visited all four Kong family members, so I can rest easy. This stage, Cast Task, is another stage where uh, you're forced in with uh, the other Kong that you had on the overworld. And this stage is actually pretty hard. Another, another, another really hard stage. Get used to that from now on. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically Toxic Tower, except that there are no enemies, instead you have those barrels. Uh, 95% of the barrels that you'll see in that stage, uh, are intended to slow you down. Including the, uh, the, uh, the Diddy slash Dixie barrels. And this is a stage that you can play, uh, you know, by nature of, uh, being forced into it with only, uh, one Kong. Uh, depending on which Kong you enter it with on the overworld, uh, you can play the stage with either Diddy or Dixie. Um, if I recall correctly, if you were to do any percent, it would be faster for you to do the stage with uh, Diddy. But for 1 or 2, it's faster to do it with Dixie. Uh, second half. And you'll see why. You do want to be uh, Diddy for, uh, for now, though. Alright, so good first half. And 
Now I'm gonna be using Diddy uh, as a way to once again cheat. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, uh, basically cheesing my way into the bonus uh, in a way that is not intended whatsoever. Uh, the intended way would be to be Dixie uh, because you s that, that barrel uh, right there, that Dixie only barrel is a barrel that will give you just enough leeway so that you can uh, get into uh, the bonus, but you can instead up throw this barrel um, and have uh, no um, basically not be in the swimming animation so that uh, once again like I mentioned earlier uh, you avoid taking damage from the, uh, the, the, po the poison that rises up and that allows you to do this bonus with Diddy and it's actually so much faster to do this bonus with Diddy it's so much faster and so much more fun to do this bonus There you go. Unfortunately, now the the stage puts you back into it uh, with Diddy or, or with Dixie because you were Diddy. So now you have to do the second half with Dixie. So definitely takes some uh, getting used to. There you see, as you can see. You can use that barrel and that barrel, and that will give you, uh, if you're fast enough, just enough leeway so you can get into that bonus with Dixie. And that's what you're intended to do. But yeah, like, as you, as you, as you can see uh, right there, like, the positioning of all of those uh, pickable barrels is, like, just awkward enough to, like, be problematic. And like, obviously picking up those barrels is slow and you do not want to do that. And also, holy crap, I am uh, really cutting it close right here. Alright, sweet. Not even nervous, not even nervous. So, I'm at the end of the stage. And now I'm gonna collect the DK coin. Hidden DK coin, once again. No, Winky! Oh my goodness! Winky the Frog. Uh, are, are there fans of uh, Winky the Frog in the chat room? I hope so. Because uh, the whole point of this run... The whole point of this run is to save Winky the Frog. So... Alright, so this stage... This stage is one of my favorite stages in the entire game. Uh, casually. Uh, unfortunately, the speedrun breaks it completely, and you'll see. You'll see why. Like, what I did right there, like, the D-boost that I did on the, on the Brambles, that's just one, uh, small, uh, skip that you can do in that stage. There's another, like, much bigger sta uh, skip that you can do later on. And it basically skips the entire gimmick of that stage. Uh, what you what you would have to do normally is uh, go around and collect all of the Kong letters because um, you would essentially need the Kong letters to be collected so that you can spawn some TNT barrels to be able to clear the path uh, that leads to the exit. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're not going to do any of that. Unfortunately, uh, for the casual uh, experience, we're not going to do that. Fortunately. As speedrunners, we're gonna save a billion from that. So, I'm gonna grab the DK coin. And now I had the bonus and the DK coin, so I have everything I need. To come down here, have both my Kongs team up, jump, and get onto the goal from below. Now I'm gonna visit Funky for absolutely no reason. And now I'm gonna go fight Carol. Uh, this Carol fight is uh, exactly the same as in vanilla. Totally the same as in vanilla. And you'll see what I mean. Totally the same. Like the slow cannonball right here. Totally the same as in vanilla. Him being faster, also in vanilla. 
right? I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, him having a black coat and this, the, uh, the arena being uh, tinted red, that's also uh, vanilla. Oh, what is this cannonball? Hmm. That might cause problems. That was not in vanilla, actually. Well, uh, well, well, we'll try to just ignore this cannonball, like, what could possibly go wrong with this cannonball just, uh, floating, floating about? Colored smokes phase. That's the same as in vanilla. Now there's another cannonball though. Hmm. That could be problematic. That could definitely be problematic. Ooh, okay, that's Okay, cool. I had, to sh I had to shut up for a second because, like, okay, yeah, that, that, that this is actually gonna be maybe problematic. <laughs> yeah. See, talk, 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 should get punished, kind of thing. Okay, phew! Yeah, I was, I was scared for a second. <laughs> I was definitely scared for a second. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's that's the Carol 1 fight. Uh, yeah, this fight is really, really hard, as, as you can... Uh, as, as you guys probably guessed. Um, the cannonballs spawning at, at the end of each phase, um, instead of the DK barrels, like, makes this fight so hard. Like... I think this fight took me close to an hour, if not... Was it close to an hour or over an hour the first time I uh, played it casually? I think it was like just under an hour. Just under an hour. But also, like, I've played vanilla, like, a lot, you know? Um, having uh, having speedrun vanilla for, like, almost 10 years. Is it almost 10 years? I started speedrunning vanilla in 2014. So, yeah. I, uh uh, pretty much 10 years, and uh, yeah, spearing vanilla for like almost 10 years and uh, having held a uh, record in basically every category in DKC2, so I had, I had some experience, uh, like I, I have some experience playing this game, and uh, like even then it took me uh, quite a long time to beat this boss fight, like the, 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 I cannot stress how hard this boss fight is, but uh, hey, if you're up for a challenge, I should try it. Uh, we're just going through the motions here um, of, um, you know, having to sit through uh, the, the video game hero screen so that the game saves uh, before we uh, reset and uh, continue on because we're still missing some stuff. We are still missing stuff. As you can see, uh, we don't have all of the DK coins. Uh, for some reason, Mario is Wario, and he has 46. 46 is definitely not in vanilla, so uh, you guys will see. You guys will see, there are more DK coins to collect than the regular number.
Starting with uh, this barrel. This barrel was not here um, before you beat K. Roll, um. So because you beat K. Roll, um, oh, that's unfortunate. Because you beat K. Roll, you now have some uh, some some DLC added to uh, to your uh, unveiled uh, video game. Okay, that sucks. This is a really tough uh, squawk section to navigate. Uh, I will I will do my best, but like yeah, like basically having to go through it with uh, only one Kong was uh, problematic. It didn't help. All right, there we go. All right, good snipe. Taking a hit here shouldn't matter too much. And there we go. So we got the DK coin. Why was it purple though instead of uh, of blue? Someone needs to tell me that. Also, this uh, disgusting no winky sign. Let's get rid of it. Alright, so now we have another purple DK coin. And now unfortunately... Um, you know that DK coin that I was missing earlier in Freezing Frenzy? Um, yeah, it is time to collect it. I say unfortunately because like, you know, I spent like so long in Freezing Frenzy earlier, you would think, Void, why didn't you collect the DK coin? It's because... Not only is there a blue DK coin in this stage, there's also a purple DK coin. So we're gonna just be collecting both DK coins at the same time. Also my jump got eaten here. Shocking, I know, uh, you know, Freezing Frenzy being uh, annoying to me. But yeah, the whole reason, now I can actually tell you guys, the whole reason why I visited uh, Funky a couple times uh, throughout this run uh, for uh, no, like seemingly no reason, was to actually pay him so that I could use uh, his plane. Because uh, capitalism, am I right? Um, if, you know, like I, I beat K. Roll, I had to reset and like uh, re-enter uh, my file to like continue on with the the post-game stuff. And um, where was I going with that train of thoughts? Yeah, so like if I reset, then like I lose all of the banana coins that I collected since the start of my run. So that's why uh, some some of the banana coins are actually routed in uh, in this uh, post-game section. But uh, you, you, like not enough are routed in to uh, pay for all of the funkies that you have to visit uh, through this uh, basically uh, small fetch quest. And the goal of this fetch quest is obviously to unlock the Lost World stages. Like I haven't done the Lost World stages yet. Um, Lost World in this hack is a proper World Eight, and also like difficulty wise, it's uh, it's off the charts. <laughs> you guys will see. <laughs> you guys, you guys will see. But yeah, so this one, I collected some coins at the start of Freezing Frenzy so I can pay Funky. Now I'm gonna go back to Cannon Clash. Uh, and the gimmick is still in place. I still have to carry uh, this cannon ball with me. Um, but not to complete the stage. Uh, there will be a, an additional cannon that will have spawned, and this cannon is what will lead me to the purple DK coin in that stage. This one right here, which was not there on your first time playing through this level. And now it is. 
Now we got that one, and now we're out of here. Now this level. Like I was saying earlier, uh, it's better to play this level with Dixie. I'm gonna switch to Dixie. So there is a purple DK coin in uh, each world, so you have seven to collect total. Blue DK coin. Now we're here, and now there's a timer. So the timer is actually a timer, yes. But now I have to backtrack to the start of the stage before the timer expires. Um, the timer spawning basically indicates that the purple coin has spawned, and it spawned at the start of the stage. So you have to play this level from like backwards, essentially. It's not even like playing the, the, this level like going the other way, like you have to play it backwards, like literally backwards. I'm surprisingly doing a good job at it so far. Knock on wood. Yep, there it is. Good stuff, good stuff. Now I'm gonna enter uh, this stage for some coinage, so I can uh, pay Funky in uh, World 1. Because I already paid Funky in uh, this world. Earlier this run. Now I'm gonna go in World 1, and I'm gonna go in Flitter Flight. Uh, because I'm still missing a, the, purp uh, the blue coin in this stage, and the purple coin is also in there. So what's different in Flare of Flight? It's this DK Barrel. So you wanna grab this DK Barrel and ideally keep both your Kongs. <laughs> ideally keep both your Kongs. Let's try that again. The reason you want to keep both your Kongs is because you have to do a, 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 I guess a little bit of a sequence break in this stage, um, using the team throw mechanic. Um, also, Rambi is the key to uh, the blue DK coin, um, right there. Here's a sequence break in question. Jump over there to avoid an invisible barrel, and there you go. Bounce on that crunch, he recoils you to the left, and there is a barrel down there with the DK coin. Oh, I'm, uh, I've entered the wrong stage. So, not, not in Mind Over Metal, in this stage, Tunnel Trouble. So, what's new in Tunnel Trouble is this Invincibility Barrel. And this is a really long Invincibility Barrel, because you basically have to... Ooh, okay. You basically have to make it through the end of the stage. While also having, uh, whilst also keeping your invincibility, and you need to have like pretty good movement in order to make it in time. So here's the blue DK coin. Right here. 
So hopefully I did this well enough. I can keep invincibility so I can collect the DK coin. There we go, nice. And as soon as I can grab it, I can start select out of the stage. And now I can go into the Lost World. Kajol, uh, not Kajol, but Clubo will uh, uh, deny you access to the Lost World until you've collected all of those purple DK coins. And, uh, and you also need uh, all of the, the creme coins. Like you basically need everything before having access to the Lost World. And now this is the first stage of Lost World, uh, Paradox Paradise. Uh, these... Uh, barrels... Hold on. There we go, okay. So these uh, crockhead barrels, they actually reverse your left and right controls. And I completely and utterly botched that bonus, which is really, really unfortunate because I am not sure how to back this up. Um, okay, there we go. So this uh, bonus barrel actually shows up at like uh, intervals. It goes really fast. Uh, I don't remember the interval, so uh, I'll have to uh, actually uh, take the uh, timer as a reference. Okay, so every eight seconds. So you should show up again about now. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never mind, I got juked. Again. But yeah, um... Let me, uh, yeah, let me, let me mulligan this. That's really unfortunate that I failed the bonus, because, like, that, that bonus is actually, like, not that difficult if you know the cheese, but I don't really know why the cheese did not work. So... Yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, whenever you touch those uh, crockhead barrels, your left and right controls are reversed. So the stage can be pretty tricky to uh, navigate. But Dixie is uh, once again a house in that stage. So. Alright. Mmm. Yeah, I don't have a timer up right now. Like, I'm just like trying to like refer, re like go, 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 go with uh, with something that I'm not used to for a, a reference for this. So it's a little, a little obnoxious. So yeah, like see, like right there, I messed that up. Like even, even like the the, the simplest of jumps can be like r r so much harder to pull off when like you uh, you have to basically like change change from pressing right to left or uh, vice versa. In the middle of a jump. I am not sure how I took damage there. Mm. Yeah, the timer is... it's off. It's its for sure off. Like, it's really not what I'm used to for this barrel showing up. Almost. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really struggling right now with this. Like, the... the, the for whatever reason, like, my setup is not working. And I thought I practiced it earlier, but like, yeah. So, um, you said you usually have a timer going. Um, do you? Can you see your OBS window? Because that should have. The That's timer. what I'm using. Yeah, but like, okay. it's uh, okay. it's it, it's it's different. It's different than yeah. the timer I'm usually using for this. No. So maybe like sure. I'm not uh, remembering my strat properly. That's possible, honestly, that I'm not remembering my strat.
Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Nothing worse than having a blank in the middle of a run in front of like, you know, 2,000 people. <laughs> It is important, the, the, like, to remind everybody, though, that this is, like, an incredibly difficult game. And yeah, yeah. This is really, really hard. Alright, let's see. Let's try it again. Alright, never mind. Um, Barrel goes yeet. Sure does. Okay, this is it. Right here. I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, no. Well, not, yeah, not with Diddy. <laughs> Ooh, this Victor guy is, like, really looking for a timeout right now, I think. Oh my goodness. Did I grab the barrel? I think I did grab the barrel, yeah. Okay, this is it. Right here. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Now, now my 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 strap worked. Now it finally worked. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. But well, we got it this time. Okay, so now, now we're in business. Now you guys have no idea how in business we are. That barrel right there, by the way. Told you. <laughs> all, all I had to do was remember what to do. Which, you know, sounds pretty forehead when you put it that way, but no. <laughs> no, like that, you know, I, it, it's true. It's true. Like, it, when you think about it. You're, you're not wrong. It's a really yeah, exactly. funny way to hear I, you I, say I'm that. not wrong. <laughs> let, 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 let the man spit. <laughs> All right, so uh, this stage, Crimson Cavern, uh, this is basically a giant bonus room. Uh, it's it destroyed them all with uh, some leeway to it. Uh, for the first half, it's three, and for the second half, is one. So I can leave three enemies uh, alive for the first half. I have no idea what that was. Let me mulligan this. I have no idea what that was. Like, I teamed up. And then unteamed up immediately after, and then I got a jump out of it? Like, that was... I've never seen that. <laughs> so... Yeah. So my route, my route uses basically a team throw uh, in between that barrel and the right side platform. So it's it's a really, really tight and precise team throw. And if I don't get it, then I get shot into that B and I basically have to uh, restart because like... My route has to uh, to have both Kongs in it, otherwise like I, don't, I just don't make it in time.
Okay, there we go. Decided to like take my take my time with it, but make sure to get it this time. Cause third time's the charm, as they say. Alright. So now uh, Now we can keep going to this level. Alright, and that's the bonus, so yeah, being able to clear the, the first half, uh, meeting the conditions of um, the, uh, the level slash, you know, bonus level, uh, allows you, like, it gives you access to the bonus, and you can have the key coin from there. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't mention, but like, this works the same as in vanilla. Brick. Uh, can I, like, backtrack? No, I should probably just, like, take a death. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the Lost World stages, uh, are the same as in Vanilla in that if you, um, if you complete the bonus, you will get a, uh, DK coin instead of a Creme coin. You're, you're done with, uh, with, uh, Creme coins at this point. Alright, so here, ideally, ideally, I'm gonna take a death again. Ideally, you do a, a team throw super jump. I really want to show it off because it's really cool. Team throw super jump that saves some time. There we go. Now you can get into this barrel right there. You need a good roll to uh, make it on uh, to the next platform, though. Alright, so these, uh, actually, yeah, so what, what I did right there, like, that, this, uh, cutlass, oh my goodness, uh, this is pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so that cutlass that I, uh, killed right there, like, if you roll the other way on a slope, on a, on one of those, uh, icy slopes, uh, you can actually, uh, trick the game into, uh, killing the cutlass. Did the same thing right here. So it's kind of neat. All right. That, it's been a while since I saw the timer for this stage this slow, not gonna lie. But we're through. We are through. Okay, so now... Uh, now this next Lost World stage uh, is... Uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, some, it, it's something. It's something for sure. To, to, to not say other words. Um, soothing Shadows. Disables your Y button. So, uh, we're gonna be speed walking now through this stage. If you wanted to know how agonizing it is to play Donkey Kong Country without a Y button, like, look no further. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think I can still finesse this uh, with Dixie, but this is gonna be uh, this, this might be tricky. This might be tricky, actually. Oh yeah, because I only have one Kong now for uh, the bonus entrance. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I probably have to redo this, M most likely. But yeah. So yeah, you're the spider. You can't press Y, so you can't shoot these bees. Uh, okay, so let me let me think this through. 
I haven't, I haven't done the, the, the regular strat or uh, the, the vanilla movement there in a while. I think it was something like that that I was supposed to do. Yep, there you go. Whew. So if you have both your Kongs, you can just 2-1 uh, jump into that barrel. But obviously, like, that was not the case for me right now. Also, like, doing this bonus with Dixie, I haven't done that bonus with Dixie in a while, so this is probably gonna be tricky. Yeah, we might be here for a while. Is that bonus? That bonus, I do not remember uh, how to navigate through it with Dixie. I know how to navigate through it with Diddy, but Diddy moves quicker than Dixie. Alright, that was not too bad, second try. I cannot believe I did not make that jump. I cannot believe I did not make that jump. That sucks. Alright, let's try again. I'm like, I'm like getting like uncomfortably low on lives right now. I'm all in this. I'm like less and less interested in playing this stage with Solo Dixie. The, 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 the more I die to it, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, cool. I made that jump this time. Nice uh, three up that's tantalizing me right there, but uh, we're speed running. And also there's a, there's a, oh my goodness. This sucks. Uh, this really sucks, man. I can't believe I took damage. All right, let's try again. Should be good now, hopefully. Right. Last of jump. Nailed it. Okay. And now knock on wood, but the rest of this should be uh, should be pretty free. Hey. All right. Now we have a Y button again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We have a Y button actually right on time for um, one of my favorite levels in this run, uh, Forge Gorge. And also probably the only stage in this whole game that I would consider like truly uh, Kaizo difficulty. So like if you guys are familiar with... Uh, I'm actually going to grab the blue balloon there. If you guys, if you guys are familiar with... Uh, you know, Super Mario World, like Kaizo Rum Hacks, like... The this, this, this stage is very much in the spirit of that. And also I have to collect those Kong letters. Uh, reason being is... Uh, 
that's going to give me access to the bonus. In a similar uh, fashion that the, uh, the the exit of the uh, of seven one, like the the regular exit of uh, seven one works, uh, the one that I ended up skipping. That sucks. So that's like the last obstacle left before halfway, right there. <laughs> For whatever reason, like I, I've been, I was practicing the stage uh, a little bit yesterday and this morning, and uh, I was doing very fine with this part of the stage. Like first half, I was having no problem with, except for that last obstacle. So that's kind of that's kind of silly when you think about it. There we go, nice. So yeah, first half is done with Diddy, second half with Dixie. In general, like, I'd consider second half uh, a little easier, but... Dixie is also a worse Kong than Diddy, so, you know. Can have we, we can debate that all we want. Uh, and now I have all the Kong letters, so now all I have to do is die. Yep, exactly. Exactly what I wanted to do. Yep, die. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. I was like, I was about to say, oh yeah, the, 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 the only thing I have to do now is not die and make it to the bonus. And then obviously I die. <laughs> like first thing first things first let's die after grabbing all the kong letters But I love this level, because uh, this level is like it, it really like pushes uh, the envelope as far as like uh, what kind of uh, platforming you can do with uh, both Diddy and Dixie. It really like showcases uh, that platforming on like an entirely different level. So alright, so here the gimmick is those chests have TNT barrels, but if I didn't collect the Kong letters throughout the level, the Kong letters would be in that chest instead, or in those chests instead. So you really do want to collect all the Kong letters. And now we're done. Second try is actually really good. For this stage. And now we only have one left. And unfortunately, this stage is my least favorite stage in the entire run. I despise this level. But this level, like, in its... Like, the idea of this level is actually kind of cool. It's an amalgam of uh, a bunch of different levels that you've played throughout the game. Except that they're different and harder. But, yeah, I really don't like this level. I don't know why, but, like, whenever I would get to this stage in a run, like, in, on a good run, I would just, like, choke. So, like, I have, I have like, bad memories of playing this level, basically. <laughs> like, even in my current PB, like, I think I took, like, two pretty big deaths in the second half uh, in this stage. Otherwise, like, my run would have been, like... Otherwise, my PB would have been, like, actually pretty, pretty cracked. It's, like, already pretty cracked, but it would have been, like, even more cracked if I hadn't died twice in Kong Penyon, so... You know, it is what it is. But you know what they say, you never want to PB by too much. Also, uh, I disagree with that hit game, but that's okay. It's okay because halfway is right after the screen. Okay, sure. Uh, let's go back here, and because the cannonball will have despawned. All right, let's respawn the cannonball. All right, let's respawn the cannonball. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, yeah, let's throw. Oh, no, what was that? I, I okay, so I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna death warp now. Because I need both my Kongs to get into the bonus, but like I was holding just down, wanting to dismount the hook, and I ended up going down left, so... Yeah. Also, this is one of those levels that forces you in with only one Kong, and in uh, this instance, it's Diddy. So you have to start the level with only one Kong. You need both your comms team throw to get that invincibility barrel because you want to bounce on those cannonballs to get into that bonus. It is a very well hidden bonus and even when you know that it's going to be there, it's still tricky to get into it. Oh, uh, this might be bad. The timer for this bonus is super tight, so... I don't know, fingers crossed that I have enough time now. Three, two, one... Yeah. That's okay. Thankfully, you respawn right next to it. But yeah, that's actually like a good showcase of how tight the timers for the bonuses are for this run. Like you really don't have a lot of time to spare on them. Like most, mo mo like more often than not, like one simple mistake will mean like having to redo the bonus. But now we're out, so we're almost done. King Zing's there, what's up? There's actually a, a, a backup uh, DK Barrel uh, on the other side of him, but I have both my Kongs and I intend to keep both my Kongs. That's bad. Okay. This section is terrifying. This section terrifies me with only one Kong. Especially Dixie. Yup. <laughs> it's those bees, specifically those bees. Every single time I only have one Kong, this is where it ends. All right, that's okay. Let's try it again.
Okay. <laughs> My roll didn't come out there for whatever reason. You thought this was vanilla DKC2 until a minute ago? Well, yeah. It's an understandable mistake. But no, this is, uh, this is actually a super difficult DKC2 ROM hack that I'm playing right now. I don't even think super difficult does it justice. Like, you are gaming super hard, and this looks impossible. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to game hard. But man, this, 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 this game has been kicking my ass today. Are those blue rats, by the way? Uh, yeah, the, the same, same thing as the, the blue guys and uh, all those other stages that I've been playing so far. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't kill them, and uh, they will kill you on contact. Uh, unfortunately, I'm so Dixie again for the last screen, and I am scared. I am scared for my life once again. Scared to die. Hey, and th and that's the worst thing about those three bees is that it's the last obstacle of that stage. All right, we're out of here. Now, time for Carol Two. Carol Two is a really sick boss fight. I really like that boss fight. Like, it's not like Carol One. Carol One is kind of kind kind of BS uh, with the uh, the the floating cannonball uh, for uh, phases two and three. But this fight is actually super cool. It's all about memorizing and uh, routing. You memorize the phases and then like you really uh, find a way uh, to dodge the uh, the obstacles uh, that, in a way that's comfortable for you. Like that barrel that's over there, like that can be an obstacle, but it can also help you. It depends on how you approach it. Oh, get ready on time because this is it. And time. GG. Oh my goodness, we're done! <laughs> we, we beat the video game! That was... It, I... I mean, for anybody who's been here, they know how difficult was, this was, but this has been probably one of the hardest games I've ever seen in my entire life. And yeah, yeah, huge, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> huge props to you for doing this. Everybody, yeah. remember to follow Void for this amazing gameplay, for this clutch execution of this game. Yeah, follow, follow me on Twitch. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I haven't played this game in, like, so many months. Uh, but uh, I, I'm glad to have been able to uh, to beat it for y'all. Uh, yeah, I was, you know... I had beaten Unveiled uh, on GDQ before, but not never in one or two. So like that was definitely like a, a new and exciting challenge. So I'm very happy to uh, have been able to uh, show uh, this to y'all. And there you go. That's your reward. That's your reward for getting 102% and Unveiled. Congratulations with a K, by the way. All secrets have been unveiled, and Winky has been rescued. So uh, yeah, if you guys like frogs. Uh, Get those OS frogs emojis out there because I love frogs. Shouts to Winky uh, and shouts to Empty Sis, Empty, uh, the, the designer of this ROM hack. A uh, very good ROM hack. Once again, would recommend if uh, you guys like Donkey 2 and just just DKC in general. Like, give give this give this hack a hand. Like, even if you don't uh, think you'll be able to beat it, like you know, this like the. This, this hack definitely deserves uh, more eyes on it. Uh, it's, it's just so well made. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitch. Uh, recently, I've been streaming a lot of SMRPG Remake. Uh, 
Uh, I, I, hope, I hope you guys have been playing SMRPG Remake as well, because that game owns. So, uh, yeah, just in general, uh, a lot of SNES speedruns, uh, you know, including the DKC Trilogy as well. Uh, this game as well, I have the record for actually both uh, any percent and 102% for uh, DKC and DKC2 Unveiled. Uh, and uh, yeah, and, uh, also uh, speedrunning other goodies like, for example, SMRPG Remake. Uh, what was my final time, by the way? I think it was like close to three hours, right? 2.40.55. 4.50.55? Yeah, two forty fifty five, so just under two forty one. Oh, okay, that's 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 not that's not too bad. I mean, my 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 PB is an hour and fifty seven minutes. So. But like I said, considering that it's been so many months, and considering how difficult this is, I will actually take that. I will actually take that and be pretty okay with it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for having me, Church. Uh, thank you, uh, Ray, as well, for uh, setting this up. And uh, yeah, keep on rolling deep. Uh, um, I'll you guys might see me again on the, the next uh, Canadian uh, takeover. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, and uh, yeah, we uh, we may see more of you the next time I'm allowed to uh, to take over the hotfix here. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. With that being said, that is all we have for you today. Uh, again, huge props to you for showing off this game. Thank you so much. I know uh, you didn't really uh, have the time to practice, but I... It, well, I, it, it was still incredible. It was still yeah, fantastic. It, so. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the thing is, like, the, the, the time... I didn't have the time to practice. Like that's all on me because I've been playing SMRPG remake this week. Like I could have, I could have practiced, but instead I played SMRPG remake. But yeah, yeah, you know. Honestly, I, I respect it. Priorities are in order here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's been an exciting time with SMRPG remake. Like we've 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 been doing like so much routing, like so much so much routing of the the speed run this week and like the the the. the the world record is already like uh, it's already like almost better than my uh, SMRPG PB on Super Nintendo. So like that tells you like how things are progressing. Like they're just going so quickly, and it's very it's been very fun and uh, very uh, very rewarding to be a part of that. And uh, yeah, like you said, priorities. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like, that is one of the best times to get into a game, so I definitely understand. Like, that is the most fun to have. Totally respect the decision to be at the, you know, at the front pushing the game down, so mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. get it. But yeah, like, thanks for having me, for sure. Like, I appreciate the offer. As a Canadian, uh, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta show uh, what poutine fuels. <laughs> thanks again for being on all we have for you today tomorrow we will be back here at 1 p.m eastern we have the final fantasy 10 2 anniversary i think it's the 20th anniversary might be the 15th either way we're going to be celebrating with a run of uh x2 and uh final fantasy 10 cutscene removed uh so that's going to be starting at 1 p.m eastern we'll see you there and uh have a good night everybody